Trust can be hard. I've learned over time to keep my circle small. But then again, the best way to find out if you can trust somebody is to trust them in the first place. I come here every day. Same time, same table, same coffee. This place helps me relax. I like sitting by the window. It allows me to observe people. So many new people to see every day. So many different stories. So many different emotions. These faces I see. I don't really remember them afterwards. They're shortly forgotten. But today, I would see a face that I wouldn't forget. That face haunts me. The face that mesmerizes me, yet tortures me at the same time. Her eyes, like two flaming stars, shining both fiercely, yet so spectacularly at the same time. Hi. I don't think I've seen you in here before. Are you sure? I think I would have noticed. <laughs> so what's your name? Why do you need to know my name? So I know who I'm talking to. Well, who am I talking to? Me? I'm Eddie. Eddie. I like it. Hello Eddie, I'm guessing you're from around here? You are correct. Quite near actually. I come here every day. Wow, every day. Must get pretty old. Not in the slightest. This place is familiar to me as the back of my hand. It's got that coffee scent and that subtle smell of flowers and herbs. It reminds me of my mother's home. It's one of my happy places. I love it. You reckon? I'm sorry. I don't think I got your name before. Oh, sorry. So, Eddie, what does a man like you do for a living? And that's where it started. I told her everything. Stories from my childhood, my views, my relationships, experiences. And in return, I got to see that smile of hers, watch her eyes sparkle. You could tell when she liked what I said. She grinned, making her dimples very visible. I'm gonna be in a rush. Can I get your number? Wow, haven't seen one of these in a while. You know these can stop bullets? That's why I carry it. God, I love the city. From here it's faint and distant, but when you're there, it illuminates the faces of so many happy people. I love it. I agree. It's beautiful. Wish I could take you there one day. One day? Why not tonight? Everything about her makes me want to say yes. Hell, it makes me want to scream it for the world to hear. There's something about her. How could I say no?
one. That is so beautiful, just a little too much. Out of your price range, huh? Sadly, I'm in the same boat as you. Looks like none of us are going home with some fancy new jewelry. Okay. I know a way that we can go home with all this new fancy jewelry. Look, I have an idea. What's going on in the pretty little bit of this? A robbery. I'm sorry, what? A robbery? Just in and out. Simple as that. There's nothing simple about that. I'm not going to commit a robbery. Look, like, look, with this, we can... Where'd you get that? Did you have this, that the whole time? We can pull it off, okay? Nobody gets hurt, I promise. It's just to frighten them. No one will get hurt. And there it was again, the irresistible urge to do as she says, the unavoidable urge to place myself in whatever situation she constructs. I don't know what it is about this girl, this mysterious girl, but I can't say no. Fine. Okay, Eddie. Go in, pretend you're buying something, okay? We can't be doing this. Go in, take the money, and we get out. You need to trust me. Meet me at the counter, okay? It's just the five men. Come on, let's go. This? Just shut up! It was hidden. 
the hat and the hood. <laughs> and where exactly is your farm? Where is my farm? <laughs> I dropped it at the store. Kill him! him. Just like that, it all came to me. Those eyes forever cursing me. The uproar of anger pierced me like arrows. How could I let someone get to me so damn well? Her voice, Eddie, 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 Eddie. the voice of fate, racing through my mind like a restless echo. Eddie, 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 Eddie. 